So Microsoft dropped something big, their new agent framework. And if you've been using Autogen or Semantic Kernel, you absolutely need to watch till the end of this video. Now, full transparency, this is super new like just announced a couple of days ago, but I'm still experimenting with it myself. However, I wanted to share with you what I'm finding, including some concerns we're all thinking about. So I'm gonna briefly walk you through the official documentation and show you what's changing, and honestly explain why Autogen is kinda dead. Let's dive in. So let me start with the official Microsoft announcement here. And they're basically saying, let's stop confusing everyone with two frameworks, Autogen and Semantic Kernel, but instead, we're going to focus on one agentic framework, and we're going to call it the Microsoft Agent Framework. So if we scroll down just a little bit into this comparison table that they put together, we have Semantic Kernel, Autogen, and Microsoft Agent Framework. And if we take a closer look, we can obviously see that they've chosen the best features from Semantic Kernel and Autogen, and they've put them into the new Microsoft Agent Framework. Now, here's the key question everyone's asking. Will Autogen still be maintained? Well, they do have this comprehensive migration guide from Autogen, and if you read between the lines, it's pretty clear. Now, you don't actually have to read between the lines. Just take a look at this LinkedIn post on the official Autogen page. They're obviously saying that Autogen will get some updates like critical bug fixes and security patches, but they're not gonna add new features. Now, translation, it's time to switch to the new framework. Okay, let's take a look at the actual GitHub repo. If you've been working with either framework, you'll see a lot of similarities, but here's the good thing. It's actually much simpler now, less bloated and more focused. So let's talk about one of the biggest improvements and that's middleware support. And I'm gonna show you exactly what this looks like in their samples folder. So I'm gonna go to Python and then samples, getting started. And then we're gonna take a look at this folder, middleware. So essentially, middleware gives us a flexible system for request response processing, exception handling, and custom pipelines. It's the kind of infrastructure tooling that production systems need. Let's take a look at a concrete example. Here they have this function-based middleware. So let's go here. And then if we scroll down, we can see the security agent middleware. And essentially, this intercepts requests before they hit your agent. In this case, it's checking if someone is asking for a password or a secret, and then this request is just blocked. The framework will simply not call the next function, and the request stops right there. In the real world, this is huge for things like logging, security, and other use cases. You're not going to copy code into every agent anymore. You just need to write a middleware once. And it's not something new either. This middleware pattern is standard in production frameworks like Express, ASP.NET, and others. Microsoft Agent Framework is bringing this proven approach to AI agents. All right, in this example, here's another middleware. It's a logging function middleware. And if we scroll down just a little bit, we can see that we can stack them in an array when we create our agent using this new middleware parameter. So first security runs, and then we have logging after that. With Autogen, you'd be hacking this together yourself. Now let's talk about the workflow API. And if you're coming from Autogen, this is replacing your team. Things like round robin group chat, selector group chat, swarm, all of that. It's a completely different approach to multi-agent orchestration, and it's actually better. In Autogen, we had event-driven teams. Agent Framework uses graph-based workflows where we define edges that route data and control execution flow. Kind of like LangGraph, if you're familiar with it. And to be completely honest here, Autogen's group chat was, let's say, not the easiest to manage. You'd set up agents, but in some cases, they wouldn't collaborate the way you wanted. Oftentimes they did, but some other times they didn't. Now let's look at these orchestration patterns. If you're coming from Autogen, Here's how they compare. So first we have concurrent, and this means that agents work at the same time on different tasks. Then they combine results. Autogen didn't have a similar pattern, so this is new. Next we have sequential, and this means that when agent A finishes, it passes to agent B, then to agent C. Linear flow, this is also new because Autogen didn't exactly have this. In Autogen, we had round robin group chat, which goes in loops until the termination condition is met, but a sequential workflow is one way through. Next, handoff. And this is when you have agents passing control to one another. Autogen's swarm and agent framework both work the same way. You tell it which agents can hand off to which. Then the LLM decides when to actually hand off. The main difference here 
is just how they're defined in code. Swarm sets handoffs per agent, while Agent Framework defines all handoffs together in the workflow. And finally, Magentic, for complex tasks where you don't know the steps ahead of time. A manager agent makes a plan, picks which worker agent acts next, and changes the plan as needed. Both Autogen's Magentic One group chat and Agent Framework work this way. Agent Framework adds limits like maximum rounds to stop infinite loops. So let's be honest about what's happening here. Microsoft is unifying their agent ecosystem. Look, Autogen was great, but it did struggle in production. Semantic Kernel was enterprise ready, but lacked the multi-agent orchestration that made Autogen exciting. The new agent framework is Microsoft saying, we're done with this fragmentation. And look at these customer testimonials. I'm gonna go here. And you can see that these are serious enterprise customers already working with this. If you're using Autogen, the migration path is straightforward. Microsoft actually built this comprehensive migration guide, which is very helpful. I'm going to leave a link in the description. Now, Agent Framework isn't revolutionary. It's just Microsoft finally building what we should have had from the start, a framework that works for both experimentation and production. So there you have it. Microsoft Agent Framework is here, and it's clear where Microsoft's future is headed. Again, this is super new, so I'm still experimenting with it, but I wanted to get this info out to you all quickly. So what are you thinking? Are you going to make the switch? Let me know in the comments what you think about this. And if this was helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Agent Framework tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.